What's up everybody? This is Craig Stafford, the Think Happy Guru with Speaker Reality Life. Today we're talking about Rated Triple X, a provocative talk about life. I'm so excited about Speaker Reality Life, the webcast and the mobile version. Everyone's digging it. You guys are giving me so much love. So I appreciate the support. Oh man. Speaker Reality Life is a social media reality TV show with motivational messages. And like social media, hashtags are the new way of communicating. So I'm going to do spoken hashtags. Anytime you hear me say the word hashtag, you know that word has some major importance. And what I really would like for us to do is get interactive. When you watch the webcast, Hit me up with a comment on Facebook or Twitter using the hashtag that you identified with. Let's make this fun. Let's make it exciting. And together, we can make speaker reality life real big. So I'm counting on you and I'm waiting on some exciting hashtags, comments just from you. Okay, so let's get started with this provocative talk about life. When we bear our soul we are living life in the buff when we expose our ugly truth when we get naked and let it hang all out we are living a provocative life now everyone is not going to understand but it's not about them understanding it's about you getting your deliverance it's about you healing the hurt healing the wounds healing those scars and those wrinkles and those blemishes those dark secretive places that you don't want anyone to know about it's about exposing what happened to us and exposing what's happening to us at this present moment because when you expose your experiences you are empowering your life and that's what it's all about we were created to live a hashtag empowered life so I'll be the first to expose myself I have abandonment issues and you guys know that I also have daddy issues but my abandonment issues come from my daddy issues and even now sometimes I feel abandoned it's like I'm a grown man and a little boy at the same time you know, there has been situations in the past where my partner has supported me. He supports me. But I feel as if, like, it wasn't enough. I felt as if, like, in times past that his support wasn't enough. And I realized because I'm dealing with abandonment issues that stem from having an absentee father and for all of those people out there that are listening to this that are going through abandonment issues I can relate I know how you feel and abandonment issues are some of the worst type of feelings that you can have the feeling of no one's there for you no one there is support to support you especially when it really counts you know Oprah is and Iyala I Van Zandt is having you know the whole show where they're talking about fatherlessness and the whole father-son dynamic 
it almost seems as if it's an epidemic and I'm here today to expose this epidemic that people know about but they just don't know how dangerous, detrimental, and serious this epi epidemic is and that this epidemic is becoming fathers you need to be there for your children you need to man up and be there for your children and to my father I'm wishing you the best I hope the best for you I pray the best for you men we need you to survive we need you to get yourself together so that this nation can hashtag thrive it's not important it's not so important for us to just be a country that survives we have to be a country that thrives and the only way we're going to thrive if we have to tell our ugly truth and um my ugly truth is I have abandonment issues and I deal with those every day but what issues are you dealing with are you dealing with physical abuse issues are you dealing with sexual abuse issues mental abuse issues are you dealing with the shame of being HIV positive having AIDS are you ashamed of growing up poor are you dealing with I'm not pretty enough I don't look good enough are you dealing with low self-esteem low self-worth what are you dealing with I encourage you expose it get naked take off the shame when you expose your experience you are empowering yourself to be more than a conqueror you are empowering yourself to live life on top Job said naked I came out of my mother's womb and naked I will return the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away you have to take away the shame and the stigma that is attached to your situation because you was created to live a victorious life you was not created to be defeated you were created to live life on the top what is it that you are going through it's okay to be naked and discharge it's okay to be naked and dripping it's okay to get naked and let it hang all out because you can't afford to hide you can't afford to cover up you can't afford it because it's killing you open a closet let out the skeletons whatever skeleton you may have let it out it's time that you live you don't have to live with the hurt and the and the the ucky feeling 
that you feel that nobody knows about. That 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 nobody is willing to talk to you about. But if you talk about it first, somebody out there will listen. I'm listening. I'm here for you. You got to testify. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. I'm not saying that it's going to all happen at one time. But you got to open up your mouth and expose the wound, the blemishes, the scars, the those dark secrets. You don't have to hurt by yourself. And I want to let you know you can make it. That if you survived it, you can succeed and proceed and be better than where you are at right now. We have to create a safe place, a loving place, a comfortable place for people to talk and express themselves and expose themselves with no judgment. So I want to encourage us to not judge people but to listen to what they have to say because we never know what people are going through. We never know what type of hurt people are holding on to. We are our brother and our sister's keeper. We are family. We are the human family and we live on one house and one house is called planet earth. It's you and me together. I want to let you know that I'm here for you and I know these these webcasts are getting long but I just got to speak to you from my heart because like I say all the time this is real information for real life this is real life issues that people are going through that we are dealing with and we have to stop sugarcoating stuff we have to attack it we have to address these issues in order to heal. <sighs> okay. I'm going to let you go. I, I, I know. I know this is getting long. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you go. And I. <sighs> I can't apologize about. Wanting the best. For people. Because I want the best for you. ThinkCappyGuru.com Real information for real life. Until next time. Peace.